what a week it has been thank you for being so supportive everybody on instagram has been phenomenal and i'm just like so happy i feel like i say this every week but i'm so happy to have this like community on instagram that is just filled with the most like positive and uplifting women and men that i could ask for and as many of you know i'm in the technology industry and when you're in tech the end of the year is crazy um any any company really i feel like the end of the year can be like the end of the quarter end of the year um it gets a little hectic so it's been a crazy week for me but i am here i had a great week this week with work and i got some fun things in the mail and i can't wait to show you guys so i was able to snag a couple items from the fendi x skims collection and then i also got something very spur of the moment from fashion file and i'll talk to you guys about like where it all like came from but um i don't know i felt like the fendi x skims collection was really fun um i wasn't gonna spend a lot of money on it i already knew that it just like was kind of like a fun little treat to see if i could get anything and just to have like a little memory of like when skims did a collab with fendi i feel like that was fun and I'm very into this like purple packaging so i think you guys already know what this is if you follow me on instagram i like opened it as soon as i got it and showed it to you guys so let's get on with the video Try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a okay you guys already know what this is um i got this i actually ordered i had to make two separate orders because every time i kept putting something in my cart it was like selling out immediately and then i had to like restart so i just decided to like put one thing in buy it put another thing in and then buy it and then by that time everything was sold out i actually really I really wanted to get one of the bodysuits or like one of the unitard things. I just thought it looked cute, it was fun, and it was like different than anything that I would ever buy. So alas, I was not able to grab any of those, but I did grab some practical items. So let's go ahead and open. This is the packaging that this came in. Actually, I don't even need to rip it. It comes right, slips right out. And comes in the really pretty Fendi Skims box and the info right here and i got the black tights um i got these in an extra small i'm usually extra small when it comes to like leggings or tights so i figured this would be a good size i think it came in like one size smaller um i know that skims makes like double x s but like let's not kid ourselves now um but they are just regular black tights. And I will say, I never thought I was a tight person, but when I got the Gucci black tights, I was wearing them a ton. And I thought it'd be fun to switch it up with like a different style. So they really are very see-through. Um, they just say Fendi on them. Let me see if I can put my hand in. I'm just like, I don't have it in me to try them on. I'm just, I'm, it's, I don't know. It's just one of those weeks. I just don't want to put them on yet, but that's what they look like um really cute they look like good quality um the gucci ones are a different type of like texture material but i will say everything that i got from the fendi skims line was definitely fendi material with like skims flare um and yeah nothing too crazy just some tights um and black standard black for me i like to do layering in the winter and if I have to wear like a dress or something, I always like grab tights or a skirt would be cute and like little booties. So that were that was the tights. Um, and they were, I believe they were 115. So they weren't anything too crazy. Would I spend $115 on regular tights? Never. But for the amount of use that I got out of the Gucci ones, I felt like, okay, I will, if I like them, I will use them. And I didn't, it was nothing too crazy from the collection, as we know. If you if you saw I was a little crazy with prices okay next up is this one actually came in a bag which is nice and came with the order receipt this is, guys the packaging i'm actually really impressed i've never bought anything from fendi um but skims does not come like this 
but it was a really cute purple magnetic box wrapped up really cute I'll just do it without ripping it what else is in here there is a little Fendi Roma like info packet and a Fendi card. I, well, I guess it's like the date code and all of that when it went into production, all of that. Interessant. And look how cute this little dust bag is. It has the little purple thing. And I got the this I believe is the small makeup bag in the color Connecticut and it's pretty small. There was three sizes. There was like the mini, the small, and then I think the medium. Um, and these were not cheap. I believe this was like 365. Um, I'm just trying to see what these tags say. There's like a Fendi tag right here. It literally is just a pamphlet of Fendi. It doesn't literally says nothing. It just says Fendi. Fendi. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Okay. Um, that was weird. But this is the color Connecticut. It's like a creamy beige white pink um, mixture. And it has actually what sold me on it. I think Cassie had posted hers or someone I saw had posted that the lining inside was like this dark brown like super washable and it does say that it's washable um on one of the tags and it says fendi it says fendi made in italy in a little leather tab right there i don't know if you guys can see that probably not but i wanted like a little makeup bag that i could like toss around and get dirty inside i feel like my toiletry bags like my toiletry 26 and my um, nano niece are very like clean only makeup and I'm like afraid to use them for anything else I actually put like jewelry and accessories in the nano niece and the toiletry 26 I use for like all my work um, accessories if I'm not using it as a clutch or like a bag but this I felt like I could actually use get a ton of use out of it it has like the nylon outside and then the washable inside, no muss, no fuss, and I could just actually use it. So I thought it was cute. Uh, definitely a little expensive, but for like a Fendi makeup bag or a Prada makeup bag or a Louis or Chanel, like this is not too bad. Um, and I just thought it was cute. And it, the color, um, I had to get the color because I was born in Connecticut and I'm a neutral, I love neutrals, you know, I'm a neutral queen. And I just thought it was a cute little, like, memorable piece, collector's piece to have and use. And I actually feel like I will use it, which is why I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. And I actually really like the packaging. I'm really impressed, guys. I'm impressed with this packaging. They did a really good job. I love that they picked this purple. It's really fun purple. And I'm excited to use it. I feel like some people actually didn't get their orders yet um i know some girls got them before me and i know some are still waiting on them but mine came the tights came really fast and then this one didn't ship out until like four days later so if you don't have them yet i'm sure they're on their way but um cute i wish i could have gotten the bigger one but it was like it looked really big maybe maybe if i, maybe if I had seen them in person it would have been a different process but it's really hard to buy things online without seeing them so i thought i thought it was actually really cute so i think these are cute i think i'm going to get a lot of use out of them i know they have the ability to do returns um i don't plan on returning them unless there's like something else that pops up that i wanted originally but i think these two are really basic easy and I'll probably end up using them. By the time this video is up, I'll probably have already used them. So 
Next up is something from Fashion File. I, I, I know I recently got a vintage Chanel classic flap, but I didn't think I was actually gonna be able to find one. So while I will, while I was like trying to figure out what I wanted to get myself for my birthday, um, I started seeing a lot of like Prada, nylon bags, um, a lot of cute Instagram photos, a lot of fun videos on YouTube around Prada. And when I was looking at getting either the re-edition with just the shoulder strap or the one that goes crossbody, um, I was watching a ton of videos on them and like the durability of the nylon and all of that. And I actually almost got that for myself for my birthday. But then I found that Chanel vintage classic flap for that price point and I had to have it. And so I said no on anything else. I had a really good month with work and I actually have a couple of trips coming up and I wanted... <laughs> I wanted something that I felt like I needed in my collection. I don't need anything, but this came in on Fashion File. I was checking like the new arrivals list and it was such a good price and it's also vintage that I justified it and I grabbed it. So no one's gonna guess this because I have not talked to anyone about this. I've never brought this one up ever, but I got the Prada nylon backpack. So this is, I guess it's vintage because it's not the newer model with the newer leather, but this item, I don't know what size it is. I think it's called like middle size or small, but it is big enough to hold my MacBook Air and some other items, but it's small enough where it doesn't like swallow me when I wear it. And it doesn't have the Safiano leather, it has just like the regular um, leather that they used to use. And guys, how cute is this backpack? So this, they remade these on Prada and they remade them in I think more sizes. Obviously they changed out how it all like works. I think it's a sliding contraption instead of like a buckle but all of it is pretty much the same like there still is a buckle this is magnetic let me show you guys so you you unbuckle it here and then right here it it snaps open so right here is a little magnetic button and then it has the cinch tie and then you can open it and get in there and i I grabbed it. Okay, so this retails right now for, I think this size retails around like $1,600 or $1,700 on the Prada website. And I thought to myself, like if I found actually a really good price, I would take it and I would get a ton of use out of it right away. And I got this bag for, I think it was like $650, which is crazy. It's less than a re-edition bag. Obviously it's a totally different style, but I wanted a backpack for travel. Now I am traveling for wedding soon and I do have my keep all bandolier um, and that's great, but I wanted another option to carry like onto the plane and tuck under the seat in front of me. I usually put the keep, the keep all does fit under the seat in front of me, but I'll usually put it in front of Jamie's seat or he'll put it above him and he usually will carry it for me if I have like a bag. So I wanted a backpack option that was big enough to hold my computer and so light. These are so light, it's so comfortable to put on and I felt like it was like super secure and safe because it has the um, these buckle clasp uh, like combos. So you really like, you have to be like going in there to get something and it's just like absolutely carefree. Now I looked at the Palm Springs MM, but the straps are really like puffy. And I was like, do I really need a backpack? But then this came in at such a great price and it's, 
definitely an older model, but it's held up so, so well that I was like, okay, I'm taking it. If it looks in, per in person, if it looks as good as it did online, this was in very good condition. I know you guys like ask me like what I look for. I don't buy anything unless it's very good condition or above. So I think it goes very good, excellent, and then new or like new or something. But this was in great condition and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's like a really cool dress down bag. Like if I'm going to an airport and I'm wearing, I could wear this to it. Like I'm wearing leggings and boots. But if I wanted to wear like my normal outfit to the airport, which is like sweats, like this would look so cute with it. And it's easy. No muss, no fuss. And I mean, come on, the price was phenomenal. And since I got the Chanel bag, the re-edition like the crossbody one or the shoulder strap just got taken off my list for a while just because i didn't need a smaller bag anymore like i had the i have the chanel i have the mini capucines and those are great like nighttime bags um and then for every day i have my bum bag which chef's kiss perfection for travel but i can actually wear both so i can actually wear my bum bag in the front and my backpack on my back so let me know what you guys think like is this super out of like my like normal realm of bags um i don't know what's going on i feel like prada's definitely have like a resurgence right now and the classic like nylon look i get to get i get to have that but in a different style bag so this is it oh and so Morgan doesn't have an organizer for this, so I tried my best to find like somebody that makes like a backpack organizer. So I will keep you posted if I do find somebody. I ordered a couple. I will see which one works, and then I will let you guys know. If you have this bag and you use one, please, please DM me on Instagram or leave a comment below and let me know where you got one. But so cute. I will do an actual review of this bag once I've used it. I plan on using it next week for travel. Um, and hopefully I will have my organizer in by then just to help keep its shape. But the slouchy look of it, it's not too bad, right? Um, and then like, of course I have to try it on for you guys. So hold on one second. Let me see if I can maneuver here. Can you see? I know I'm wearing like a really puffy vest, but I plan on wearing like pretty oversized clothing with it anyways but this is it so freaking light okay i know i came out of left field with that one but i just like look how cute really the only distressing and stuff i saw was like in the leather but that's just like normal leather wear like hello like that's just what happens but you know, the straps themselves were in great condition. They're like this, like, I, I call this like seatbelt fabric. Um, and then this is how you do the adjustments in the back straps. And then it had this top handle, but guys, six fifty. I feel like that was good price for this. Um, let me know if you've seen them for like any lower. And if you guys like this and want me to do a review on it, I will do that. And then I will also... If you want, I can include like other ones that I had saved on my list or ones that I see come up. I like to save them and I'll send them to my friends on Instagram. If anyone's in the market for something, I'll just like try to save it and then send it to them so they can grab it. But I felt like it was such a good price for the type of bag that I was looking for. Like something fun, easy, could be a mom bag in the future where you just like toss things in, you wipe it right off. And just looks cute it's like a little trendy what do you guys think so that is it for today's fun unboxings but i really like my collection right now there's nothing i'm looking to get rid of i feel like it's in a really good place and this bag was just like a fun one to grab and I'm not gonna lie guys like i've been looking at shoes now it's it's a problem it never ends and i think my husband's like so over me because i like don't want anything for christmas i just like just 
end up just picking what I like and making it like a gift from him or something. So, I don't know, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I thought the Fendi Skims um, launch went really well. I think that they did a really good job of like posting it, giving everyone access. I wish they had shown the prices sooner um, because I was kind of like researching as I was buying and like you had no time for that. Uh, but I think everything I got was pretty practical and I will post more stuff on Instagram. As always guys, you can find me there at Decor and Designer. I'm super, super responsive and I feel like there's something up with Instagram where like engagement is off, but it doesn't matter. Like you guys know you can always reach out to me there and that's it. All right guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.